Hangzhou, along with Suzhou, is known as Heaven on Earth. It is the capital city of the Zhejiang province that lies at the mouth of the Qingtan River. It is known as a beautiful garden city and one of the top five richest cities in the country, and the locals live by a no worry, no hurry model. The city itself is known for being home to the happiest people in China. As a close neighbor to Shanghai, Hangzhou is a famous tourism city in China and the most populous city of the Zhejiang province in East China. The West Lake and Grand Canal are two symbols of the city and were enlisted into the world culture heritage. With a picturesque scenery and a rich history, it's interesting to note that Hangzhou was once the capital of the Southern Song Dynasty in history. Many poets and literatures have visited Hangzhou and left various historic relics. With so much to see, here is what you should see was one day in Hangzhou. Start your day in Hangzhou was a cruise across the beautiful West Lake. Here is where you will enjoy the tranquil scenery of the lake and see the famous sights from the boat. You will get a chance to see the three pools mirroring the moon, which is right in the center of the lake, the solitary hill, and the Lifei Pagoda, where you can disembark at the Flower Harbor Dock. At Flower Harbor Park, you will be greeted with beautiful flowers and red carp. This park is a great place to feed the fish and pray for good luck. In Chinese culture, this species of fish represents success, so it is frequently seen in Chinese parks or gardens. After lunch, visit the Lingying Temple, also known as the Yuanling Temple. It is the earliest temple in Hangzhou, which was founded by an Indian monk. As many people have said, when you come to visit Hangzhou, you should at least go to two places, one being the West Lake and the other being the Lingying Temple. Many valuable collections of Buddhist cultural relics are preserved here. Among them, a stone tower which stands in the front of the main hall is a relic of the Five Dynasties and Ten Kingdoms period. This is a must visit for anyone interested in Chinese Buddhism. Then you can take a hike through the mini mountain Feilai Peak which is covered with odd shaped rocks and lush green trees. Many Buddhist rock coverings can be seen along the way. After, pay a visit to the former residence of the Hu Xue Yan. He was a very successful businessman regarded as one of the richest and most famous businessmen in the Qing Dynasty. He started his business under the governor Wang Yulin's support and his business covered food, real estate, hawk, silk, a weapon, and traditional Chinese medicine. After his success, he donated much of money and helped a lot of people together with the Qing government. Because of his kindness and generosity, he was granted a red hat official merchant by the government, which was then the highest honor a merchant could attain. Want to take this Hanzhou tour? Click the link below or customize your own tour. Want to see more great videos about China? Hit the subscribe button below and follow us on our other social media.